Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Kind and Polly, there was no alternative holding. Before this year, the limited upside inbound pairs and many major yields made it thought to go against China. The bond market chief are now speaking up and saying the triple A with US Treasury US Treasury yields around four percent or corporate bonds yields even higher. The difficulty in spotting the actual time returns in the grab amongst the prediction for said returns tells you how meaningful volition are as predators of long term returns. Given strong correlation between volition and long term stock returns, we share a few grabs to help from expectation on what the next ten years may hold for stock. This allows us to compare them to treasury and investment grade corporate bond alternatives. The circle happened where the volition is today. The interaction of the circle and trend line marks the town year and returns as expectation. The vol Valuation ratio is not the actual ratio but the ratio measures in standard defi deviations from the average. This method helps better compare the three evaluations. As shown below, the three evaluation ratios pr provide an expected range. Uh, so, stock expectation versus bond yields. Before comparing expected stock returns and current bond yields, it's worth contemplating the stock investor should demand a return premium versus by new, the premium accounts for taking on more price and return validity and, and additional risk. Since 1950, investors have earned an average uh, 50%, uh, 50%. So, and uh, there's no uh, premium accounts for taking. As we shared below, an investor can buy a 10 years use treasury, which is better than average of the three expected stock returns. Expected returns are on par with the free treasury yields, but will fall below the premium spread investor should demand. The simple conclusion is that for the entry of the next 10 years, bonds are the better bet. To gain further evidence for our terror, the difficulty in spotting the actual time returns in the grab amongst the prediction for said returns tells you how meaningful volition are as predators of long term returns. Given strong correlation between volition and long term stock returns, we share a few grabs to help from expectation on what the next 10 years may hold for stock. This allows us to compare them to treasury and investment grade corporate bond alternatives. Volition and returns. The following scalar plots compare three volition ratios and the subsequent 10 year total return dividends included on the SP 500. The data points represent each quarter volition and subsequent return. As the circle highlights where the volition is today, the interactions of the circle. Panjangin dong, tadi kelihatan nih di situ. Jangan dulu di skip sampai 4 menitan lah. The circle highlights where the volition is today. The interaction of the circle and trend line marks the town year allusion returns as expectation. The valuation ratio is not the actual ratio, but the ratio measures in standard defi deviations from the average. This method helps better compare the three evaluations. As shown below, the three evaluation ratios pr provide an expected range. Uh, so, stock expectation versus bond yields. Before comparing expected stock returns and current bond yields, it's worth contemplating the stock investor should demand a return premium versus bond yields. The premium accounts for taking on more price and return validity and, and additional risk. Since 1950, investors have earned an average uh, 50%. Fifty percent. So and uh, there's no uh, premium accounts for taking. As we shared below, an investor can buy a ten years use treasury, which is better than average of the three expected stock returns. Expected returns are on par with the three treasury yields, but will fall below the premium spread investor should demand. 
The simple conclusion is that for the entry of the next 10 years, bonds are the better bet. To gain further evidence for our theory, we share a group from Teddy Well, founder of Privilege Global. He scored below compared to the return of the price ratio of compar of the S&P 500. Maybe that's our remittance for the Shimpan Friday to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you.